it ain't called anti-social media. Hey, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel where I help you land clients and scale your income. It's called social networking for a reason and that's because you have to like, you know, interact with people. I've used LinkedIn groups to gain very loyal followers, land clients for my content agency, and also to form really great relationships with professionals who would eventually go on to enroll in one or more of my programs. We've talked about how important your LinkedIn strategy is before. I've got a video on that, so I will drop the link below. And LinkedIn groups really are no different. Strategy matters, so let's jump right in. Step number one, you need to start by finding groups that have your target audience. Because there are countless groups on LinkedIn, one of the first mistakes that I see professionals make is that they just join as many groups as they can and then spam the hell out of them. Not only is this a really good way to get kicked out of these groups, but you're not really doing much good for yourself or anyone else. And you probably don't need me to remind you that LinkedIn is watching. And if they see you doing anything spammy or you know, kind of black hat, they will suspend your account. Instead, you wanna find groups where your target audience is hanging out. As an example, because I have a content agency, I might go join groups where people are trying to learn how they can rank higher in Google. And this is because this is something we help our clients do. We help them rank higher in Google. So these are my people. You can filter down the groups that you're looking for simply by searching a keyword on LinkedIn. So if I wanted to join a group about optimization, maybe I would go on LinkedIn and search SEO, filter it by groups, and then LinkedIn would give me a list right there. Even as you start narrowing down groups that might make sense for you to join, don't go and just join all of them. Okay, you have to remember that what we're trying to do here is help you form relationships with the people who are likeliest to become loyal fans and eventually maybe paying clients. So we really care about the quality. When you see a group that you wanna join, you're going to click on the request to join button and then you're going to wait for an admin to accept you. Let's keep going. Step number two, before you do anything, read the rules of the group. Once you're given access to a group, look on the right side of the page and you will see a section that says about this group. And more often than not, if that group has any specific rules, they put it in that section. Read the entire thing, because if you do anything to break any of those rules, they can kick you out. One of the most common rules is no self-promotion. And I know what you might be thinking, why bother joining a group if you can't ultimately promote yourself? Here's the thing. Promoting yourself isn't going to get you followers anyway. It's not going to get you clients. Solving people's problems will. I never post in a group saying something like, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel or enroll in my course. Instead, I provide value. I give information, I offer my help and my guidance. This is what gets people's attention, but how do you do that? Let's talk about that next. Step three, consistently provide free value. But free value doesn't make me money. Yes, it will. Nobody wants to be sold to, but everybody is shopping. But you need to form a relationship with these people first because they are not going to spend money on someone that they don't know and trust. You're not going to give away all your secrets. You're not going to tell them how to do everything so that they don't need you anymore. That's not what we're doing here. Instead, you're going to give them little nuggets, little gems of wisdom that will grab their attention, help them, get them to listen to you, and get them to know and trust you. I might post in a group and talk about how if you want to rank higher in Google, then it's really important that your blogs satisfy user intent. And then I'll spend a few sentences talking about user intent and why it's so important. I'm not telling them exactly what to do because that is one of the reasons why people pay my agency to make sure we're writing content that satisfies user intent. But I'm planting the seed I'm giving them value, giving them information, and ho also helping them understand that they can trust me so they will come to me for help in the future. Step number four is engage with other people's posts. This is another step that I see a lot of professionals very commonly skipping, and it's just because they're getting lazy. This isn't all about you. In fact, it's mostly not about you. It's about them. It's about your audience. 
you need to spend time liking and commenting on other posts that you see in the groups that you're active in. Remember what I said, this is about building relationships and relationships are a two-way street. You don't need to spend hours on this. What I will do is set a timer for five to 10 minutes and in that time I will focus solely on uh, engaging with other people's content. Do not spam, do not go down all of the posts and hit like, 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 like. Don't leave generic comments like, nice. Be genuine and authentic and intentional. Remember the purpose of this, you're building relationships. So this engagement needs to be real. The other members of the group will appreciate it and LinkedIn will appreciate it. Keep it real. Building a business, landing clients, making money is all about building relationships. And you cannot fake this. You can't fake relationships. You can't rush relationships. There are no shortcuts. I know because I've tried. I've looked for the shortcuts, I've tried them, and they've never worked. Learn from me, save yourself some time, and just do it the right way. You'll be glad you did. I've used LinkedIn almost every single day to help grow my business, and I am consistently doing over $15,000 a month. If you wanna know how I did it, then you might be interested in my private program, Revenue Spark. I will drop the link to that below. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up and help support my channel. If you have any comments or questions, just drop them below this video and I'll get back to you, and I'll see you in the next video.